Right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Percy Nails. Today we're going to do a side by side of the original Murgy Strait from Far Priest Brewery. And I'll just get one poured now. The one I brewed back in late February, I think I said it was. Uh, now, we don't expect miracles. I'm expecting this to be nowhere near. So, just give that a second to settle. But even now, when I'm pouring that, I can smell the hops off that. So, I'm not disappointed with the hop profile on this. Uh, Oh man, no! <laughs> We've had a malfunction on can. Right, we'll pause that and we'll come back. <laughs> right, we're back. We uh, had to use a bit of brute force to uh, crack that open. So we'll get this in. Now I did buy a six pack of these cans from Four Priests at Christmas. I got a, a mixture, two well, two of each. Uh, now from my last video that I mentioned, <coughs> and I was saying it was really, really cloudy. It has cleared up a little bit. But if I just, maybe just come round here a bit. So that's the uh, Far Priest one. Really nice, clear, nicely carbonated. And there you have mine. Now, mine does pour a decent pint. I get a nice head on it. And I do know that, or I'm pretty sure, that the Brewit for cask uh, initially, and then they just can a few. I don't think he does many in keg, if any at all. So, We'll just have a quick taste of the original, which is crystal clear, and it has been sat three, four months now. So, cheers everybody. And straight away you're getting that, that lovely hot profile. And I think because that's carbonated. Although, if I'm honest, I don't think it's as carbonated as the last can of it I had. But, that could be a little bit of a fault somewhere there. It might have just been letting it escape or something. I don't know, but it... I don't think that is quite as carbonated as the other one. There is carbonation in there, but lovely, a lovely beer. You're getting that talus and citra coming through. It's got a nice body on it. And then you go to mine, and if you look, mine, I said it, it was a little bit thin. It even looks a little bit thin, but it doesn't taste as thin as it looks. And yet, hot profile wise, they're pretty even, really are pretty even.
Yeah. But you're getting that nice fruitiness in that citra. A bit of tropical. It's alright, onto mine. Appearances for a handful. If that were crystal clear, that would be absolutely spot on. And like I said, it has cleared out to what it was, but it holds that head. So we'll go in. Now, if I'm being totally honest, <clears throat> I prefer a hand pull than I would a can. And in these two instances, I prefer hand pull to can. But saying that, this is the better beer of the two, if that makes sense. And I think I like the hand pull more because you get that creaminess with head and when when the canned you don't but as a comparison of my beer to this aroma wise pretty identical obviously clarity no and I did explain when I did brew, I shouldn't have brewed really, my head wanting it. Forgot my pro to flop. Uh, a couple of other little things I messed up. But that hot profile is definitely there. Probably due to you've got a nice dry up and that's gonna last. Excuse me. But mine does feel a little bit thin. Definitely thinner than the uh, original. So I'm a little disappointed with mine. It's still a very nice drinkable beer, but if I'd have had the same sort of body on my beer as this one, <clears throat> yeah, definitely if I'd have had the body and there's something else lacking and I just can't put my finger on it. If I'd have had the body, if I'd have had the clarity, and this is more rounded, this has definitely got a better finish, a more rounded finish on back end. where this just seems to die away a little bit but I will be doing this again definitely uh, and you know I can't remember where I got the, re the recipe from uh, yeast I used, I'd used a, a cross my loaf 5 because I bought not sure where I put them. I bought five packs from them. I think it was about, about a tenner for five. So I used the right yeast, or the yeast that was in this recipe. I dry opt. Uh, see, this is. I, I didn't follow this. This is the same mash thickness. 3 litres a kilo a grain and I always go to two and a half yeah 3 litres of water to a kilo a grain and I always go uh, two and a half litres need anything else 
I'm not going to go through a recipe because if anybody else copies it and it's the recipe that's wrong that's giving this out I wouldn't want somebody to uh, brew the same or be disappointed in any way but if anybody has got the, another recipe or sorry if anybody has got a recipe for Mergy and they could drop me in the comments I'd much appreciated it appreciate it and I'll give that one a go because this is definitely one to have on handful really is if that body were just a little bit thicker pretty sure it's that carbonation that's just bringing it alive a bit and making that body feel a bit bit better so yeah it's body cloudiness they're the main two things that I'm disappointed with on my beer but on the on the whole I've got a nice drinkable beer maybe not quite the beer I intended but nevertheless still a good drinkable beer uh, and we're going to keep this one short and sweet I'm now going to put these over here I'm going to go sit round there and watch the rest of rugby uh, women's Six Nations I'm giving that a bit of a bash see if I can get into it like I did Six Nations that's just gone but yeah Mergy really good beer uh, apart from a bit of a faulty can <laughs> but these things happen so there you have it not quite the beer I wanted but still a good drinkable beer and definitely one to have in your rotation if you've got a hand pull uh, possibly might even try it on tap I don't know but I am fond of my hand pull but there we have it anyway until next time, fellas. Cheers.